let's move to the Big Ten. Like I said, these are going to be kind of rapid fire here. Penn State 16, Wisconsin 10. Did you get to watch this one? Watched all of it. This was an ugly, ugly game. Zero uh, zero at the half. That is the first time that has happened in a Big Ten game since Michigan and Northwestern in 2014. That's pretty nuts to think about, but it makes perfect sense with with these two teams. Uh, Wisconsin ran way more plays. They basically dominated the game for the most part. Uh, as far as EPA per play, they they did better. It was still negative, negative point zero eight per play, and Penn State was negative point one seven per play. Uh, what that means effectively is every play they were basically <laughs> almost losing points per play. I mean, it's it's insane. But the biggest stat here was Wisconsin got into the red zone four times, only scored seven points. They got one touchdown. The the Graham Mertz interceptions are are inexcusable, and somehow James Franklin, even without dominating this game, their defense found a way to keep them in it, and. And they come out with the win on the road at Camp Randall. Like this was not super surprising, but I, I, I take that. It was it was pretty surprising to me that Penn State, with the way that they looked all day, were able to come out with the win. And it just goes to show, if you don't have that explosive playmaker on offense, it's going to cost you at some point because Wisconsin does not have a a Quintez yeah. Cephas type. They, they don't have. The, the Dotson uh, kid from Penn State. They just don't. And while you can go the entire game and basically dominate, you are going to get caught at some point needing to score a, a touchdown. You need an easy score somewhere, and Penn State was able to get that, and Wisconsin wasn't. What, uh, what did you or think Or you just it? need to take the pressure off the defense, off the offensive line, take the pressure off – Punish the defense from putting pressure so hard that that you when you take the top off the defense when you have these big huge monster plays for 45, 50 yards it it slows the defense down considerably. Yes, when the defense knows that you can't do that, there is zero reason for them to ever take their foot off the gas. Yeah, it and that's that's exactly what it felt like in this situation. Like you just needed something to happen good for you if you're Wisconsin. And every time they would get down there, they just found a way to, to screw it up. And yep. I don't know if that's Graham Mertz. I'll, I'll tell you this. Graham Mertz looked like every Wisconsin quarterback. Yeah, I, from the so past. I didn't blame Graham. I, I watched this game, and, and, and we were in a group chat going, and I thought the play calling was awful. I thought Paul Chris got out coached. All day long, there was there was four or five situations where it's third and eight or third and ten, and they run the same play over and over and over again. Which is as soon as the ball is snapped, Mertz takes a twelve step drop backwards. He's fifteen yards behind the line of scrimmage, yep. and he throws the ball across the field and to the line of scrimmage. So he's basically throwing the ball twenty five yards. A tight end is catching the football. At the line of scrimmage, it's third and eight. You so you think he's going to catch the ball and get eight yards? Throw the ball past the sticks at one point in time. Just make them try to cover beyond the sticks, and they couldn't do. I I didn't understand the call design. I don't understand enough offensive scheming to figure these things out. But I'm telling you, the play calling was abysmal. I'm not giving Graham Mertz a pass. But I'm telling you, it's really hard as a quarterback to overcome really bad play calling. I yes. mean, just all day long, I thought, I thought Paul Chris got out, got worked. I thought he got taken to the shed. Yes, yes, I think he did as well. Uh, and with that said, Penn State sets up now. Uh, it looks like they have got a. Uh, I mean, they got a good chance to to be competitive. In, in the Big Ten, like, if they can find any way to get a rushing game going, like, they, they only had 50 yards rushing on 18 carries. But, again, only I don't, 18 but carries. But they, like, they won't play another defense that good the rest of the year. No, they, they only had, well, like, 50 points. Well, I say that. There, there's, a, there's a world where Auburn's defense might be that good. But it they won't play be. another Big Ten defense that good. No, no, they definitely won't. Definitely won't. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.